Sometimes you'll have a model you'll want to have physically made or make yourself. You'll need each object size to get a price for the materials needed. That's where this add-on size scribe comes in useful. It will create a CSV file listing the objects in the different collections and alongside add the object's name, material name and dimensions. The add-on lets you specify the unit, either metric or imperial, and will list them in either millimetres or inches based on that selection. The file name can also be specified from the add-on. There is a max limit of 1000 objects that will be listed in the file. There are a couple of things to consider when using the add-on. Take the portico model here. Each piece is a separate object. This is important because you will want the exact size of each individual piece needed. That way, they can be cut to order. Each object is named and this will be how they appear in the CSV file. This will make it easier to identify objects in the list. Then each object has a material. In this case, all the material will be the same. If you had any modifiers such as mirror modifiers when modeling, they should be applied and the parts separated into the final piece. Otherwise, the sizes will not be correct. So with all that in mind, I can click export data. Then I can double click and open this off screen. Here we have the headings of collection name, object name, material name, and the dimensions of each object in millimeters. You'll also notice objects that are the same size are grouped together, making it easier to quantify them for pricing. You'll find the add-on on my Gumroad page. The link will be in the description and hopefully you'll find it useful. If you want to learn how this add-on was made, check out my Python course on Udemy, where I cover a simplified version of this add-on. You will find the link in the description. The second add-on, Scale-It, is a tool designed to facilitate the scaling of 3D models for print, based on common paper sizes. Very useful if you need to print your designs to scale. Check out my Scale-It tutorial for a detailed view of the add-on. Here we can come into this camera view. It's a front view and if you wanted to print this on A3 paper, select that from the drop down. Then choose between landscape or portrait. Then in the custom scale field, set your scale. In this case, I can enter seven. Then apply scale. Now I can render image. This is how the model will appear printed on A3 paper at a scale of one to seven.